Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Second Hand Stuff I Got. Um, obviously shot from the future, 2023. Um, I don't know why that thing is still on. I, I can't figure out how to get rid of it. There's no uh, there's no menu or software in my uh, um, uh, camera. These are actually uh, glasses I'm wearing, um, and I just can't find the... Uh, the, 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 the menu or even a file that shows the date. There's a couple of Xbox games here uh, from this guy and I a quick look at them but I just wasn't interested or I had them already. Um, I mean Halo and Far Cry are probably the only ones I would have wanted but I have them and the rest was yeah meh. Um, also he wanted five euros for each uh, which I think is too much. I mean I'll pay for four euro for this uh, just a random common stuff but uh Five is just too much. I can't. Uh, I can't even. I can't even justify spending that much for uh, for an Xbox game. I'm sorry uh, if I'm cheap, but I am. <laughs> anyway, it feels like forever since I did one of these, and uh, I just haven't had time. You know, between the uh, the music and the, the the channel in general and life, I suppose. Uh, so I have footage backed up uh, back to uh, I think April. Uh, last year 2015 this keyboard for some reason just caught my eyes and the, the, the numbers and letters are so big on it it was awful yellowed and uh, there was no uh, brand on it but yeah it, it looked cool um from a distance just uh, i love the, those big letters uh, i didn't take it though as you can tell um uh, and this was just outside there was a lot of random tat uh, as you'd expect from a car boot sale. Um, so there was nothing further outside those monitors. It, it had just rained a while ago. Um, they were probably wet and uh, yeah, I'm not interested in more monitors. Yeah, anyway, so it is time to get in the belly of the beast and this is a local indoor market I, I uh, often go to. Um, I check it out about once a month, I think. Maybe less nowadays, but uh, because it's usually the same vendors, uh, I know I've been saying that for a while now, but it's usually the same vendors, uh, except for a, a four or five booths that sometimes change, uh, different people leave and you know, others come in. Uh, this lady here ha had a PlayStation 2 with a, a PS1 uh, analog controller. Um, I I've, I've, yeah, I've no interest in more PS2, I think I have three already. Um, and uh, I, you know, I have this model, the, the, big black model and I had all these games or I had no interest in them. I think I had them all already anyway and uh, so I'm just gonna leave them for somebody else to find. I always always uh, check CD racks. It takes a while but um, you know I'm, I'm there and uh, you might as well just take the time to check these because I, I found a lot of jewel case CD uh, games. Um, very very cool games, some hard to find like Simon the Sorcerers and just different stuff you know um, uh, Diablo and Louvre and just yeah really cool game Half-Life um, not this time though but I always check always check every single one even ones that I have already uh, been through I, I check when I pass them because uh, I have found stuff and it's worth your time but not this time though um, nothing there for me time to move on uh, this looks more like it. Uh, there's a few uh, PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 games and a few PC games. I'm just checking the CD and DVD rack um, just before, just in case, you never know. So let's see what's there. Uh, we've got Spider-Man, Hercules and Power Rangers. Uh, Power Rangers... Okay, wrong game. Uh, no manual. Okay, fair enough. And wrong game. Okay, that's, that's the end of that. Uh, Although I saw a few PC games there, um, Virtual Safari, bleh, no, no thank you, and um, The Sims and a few sports uh, PS2 games, um, Crazy House, what, I, I'd never heard of this, um, yeah I, I'm not sure what it is, um, I'll look it up, it's unlikely somebody will take it, I'll leave it for now, and uh, I, I'll come back if it's any good. In fact, the likelihood of that happening have increased because I have found nothing. It's been an hour now and there was nothing. I like this uh, bench though. Really cool with the um, whatever lion heads and really cool. If I had the money and space in the house and I knew Fiona wouldn't murder me when I brought this back, I would have bought it. On a, another booth, I found this, uh, this rack full of PC titles. Um, 
and fortunately there wasn't much there for me or nothing I was interested in. A lot of these uh, Soul Lad edition uh, keep uh, popping up every now and then. Uh, no One Lives Forever, that's actually a, a pretty decent game. I have it though, so um, I left it there for somebody else to find. Um, which will probably be me because I don't think anybody else picks this place. Um, not at least, at least not PC games. Uh, and oh, yes, see, now this is what I like. There's a box of uh, of uh, uh, jewel case uh, CDs uh, hidden uh, under another box, which means it probably hasn't been uh, looked at in a while. Um, I see something by Activision. Bycraft, I've never heard of it, but I, I, I'm taking it. It's missing the manual, but um, yeah, I'm taking it. It's mine. Uh, here on the left, you've probably seen it already, but as uh, Simon the Sorcerer, I can't remember if it's one of two. I found, I think it's two. I found both Simon the Sorcerer's um, um, CDs in this uh, case as well, so uh, that was cool. I wasn't gonna leave those behind because I don't know. I, I love the I love the game Simon the Sorcerer's um, one and two. Uh, so I, <laughs> I have two copies now. Um, look at this. They are missing the uh, the front uh, art and manual, but you you know what? It, it's just uh, uh, by the way this box was, and it was under another box, and I have a strong suspicion it's not there anymore because she probably um, threw it away in the bin. Um, uh, it's been a few months uh, since I shot this. I think this was uh, May or March. Um, yeah, and, and there it is, uh, Simon the Sorcerer, the first one. Um, so really, really cool to find. Um, and this is why it's it's worth checking uh, each and every one of those CDs, because you just never know what's there. After more digging, I found uh, Tomb Raider 3. Um, just, yeah, I, you know what? I never, never cared that much for the Tomb Raiders, but oh, what is this? Lost Eden. Yes. Oh, now this is the final of the day. Um, uh, I loved this game when it was uh, when it was uh, younger. Um, uh, if, if you had a, had a chance to play it, it's. Um, I mean, it, it doesn't compare well to modern games, but uh, and the music as well was written by uh, um, uh, Stefan Pick, who did the music for Dune. Um, really, really great, quirky composer. Uh, check out his music if you get a chance because uh, the, the, the dude is awesome. Um, so really cool to find all these. I think that's all I found from uh, from this box. But uh, uh, as you can see, I was getting excited. I just wanted to check uh, the uh, everything. Uh, but look at that. Um, Simon the Sorcerer 1 and 2. Lost Eden Tomb Raider 3. And what was the first one? Spycraft. That's really cool to find. I should have bought that teddy bear as well. Oh well. I asked the lady and she wanted 50 cents a piece. That is a deal. Oh, but whoa. Wolfenstein tree. Um, I had it. I lost it or I threw it away. Um, definitely uh, going home with this. And there's more more games in there. Um, the fact that she wanted 50 cents a piece tells me that she was going to just get rid of that box altogether. Um, you know, the, 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 the <laughs> when it comes to under a euro, it just means take it now because it's going in the bin otherwise um salmon max really cool i have never played it i've seen reviews of it uh, i missed all the, uh, the salmon max stuff uh, when it came out so um, i'm gonna check this one out um what else is there i'm curious um d-day no thank you i don't have really much love for um strategy or war games fps based uh, war games Commando, no, thank you, no, thank you. Um, but I think that was pretty much all I got. So it's time to grab my panties, pay the lady, and walk away. Um, but as I was just leaving, this lady pulled all the clothes she had on her boost, and boom, revealed all this stuff. Uh, she had a ton of PlayStation 2 games and a good amount of uh, PlayStation 1 games. Um, she, uh, it was Yu Gi Oh! Um, a few manners like Crash Bandicoot and uh, I forgot what's underneath. Uh, she had Crash uh, Team Racing as well. Um, uh, what was the other one? Spyro. Um, just a lot of manuals. Beyblade, NTSC disc, which is very, very unusual to find in these uh, parts of the world. And Ape Escape. Um, in uh, in uh, hold on, a second. Yeah, that's Ape Escape. I'm looking at. 
Or is it? Oh, I forgot. No, I think that's Crash Team Racing. Um, yeah, soccer game. Uh, no, I don't actually uh, connect these, but yeah, Abyscape. There you go. Um, just really cool to find. Unfortunately, it was the wrong CD in it. Um, it was a, a homemade, home printed copy of Dragon Ball Z, but I ended up picking up the uh, box anyway because you just don't come across that uh, very often. Um, in fact, I, I kind of mixed and matched um, uh, a lot of stuff. Like I'm missing a few, uh, a few manuals and boxes and inserts. So uh, I grabbed a good few of these, and uh, she wanted a euro more or less uh, you know for a complete box so we kind of mixed and match price wise um, and then I grabbed a few uh, a few PlayStation 2 titles as well now, there was a lot of generic titles and sports games but uh, Dragon Ball Z was a, um, a cool find um, there was, yeah there was a lot of just you know those generic kind of film animation stuff uh, Star Wars, actually I didn't have that. Um, I, I keep saying I don't really want to collect for the PlayStation 2, but as I'm looking around my room now, I probably have over what, 100, 150 uh, PlayStation 2 titles. And you know what, it is actually a fun system to collect for, because you you still find a ton of stuff. Um, it, it's it's around and you can, you can get picky with it, you know, you can really uh, pick the titles you want, so... Um, Sonic Heroes, eh, why the hell not? I mean, if she wants a euro for, for these, um, I'm gonna grab as many as I can or as I will need. Um, in fact, I probably should have taken a lot more because, uh, well, aside from the sports game, I mean, yeah. There was a um, uh, Medal of Honor games, Yu Gi Oh! here, um, Conflict Vietnam Over the Edge, Shark Tale. Uh, I, I probably should have taken more, but I mean, I, I was happy to find. The, uh, the PC games that I found already, and I think I, I grabbed five PS2 titles and a, a handful of uh, a PS1 um, stuff. So overall, it's not a bad find. I, I wish I, I would find more uh, card-based systems and uh, games, but that's just the way it is. They're, they're rare to find now in uh, car boot sales. And uh, uh, really all you can hope for is to find the odd... Um, a PC title, um, which are really, really good to find. I'm really happy I found these, and um, I'd be curious to see what you find in your area. So um, uh, do send me pictures if you, uh, if you, if you have any finds, and uh, I'll put them at the end of these videos. Um, I, I wanted to do that a while back, and then I stopped making these videos for a while because I was just busy with the uh, rest of the channel. But I'm back making these now, so uh, do send photos of your finds, and uh, I'm just curious really as well uh, to see what uh, what you guys are finding around. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.